Well, I did say it was the rainy season, right? In the last video, we packed up our bags and headed out from Kiryu over Mount Haruna to Kusatsu Onsen Town. If you haven't seen that video yet, and you'd like to watch things in order, check out the link in the upper right, or the description below for a link to the first video. If you already saw the first video, or you don't mind jumping in mid-story, then welcome to day two of our trip to Kusatsu Onsen Town. After getting lucky on day one riding into Kusatsu without any precipitation, we were quickly struck with the reality of the season on day two. And, after waking up to steady rain and seeing the same in the forecast for the rest of the day, we decided to leave the bikes for the day and do some exploring on foot. So, we grabbed some umbrellas at the front of the hotel and headed out of town to explore the nearby hiking trail to the Osen Notaki Waterfalls. From town, it's just about 3 kilometers to the falls, split roughly 50-50 between paved roads leading to the trailhead and the hiking trail down to the falls. Whoa, smelly! Look at that steam! What do you think the temperature of the water is? Oh. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Here's a shot of the trail map, and I've linked to the route in the description below if you want to see how to get there from town. When headed south out of town, you can follow signs for Jizo no Yu, and then signs to Osen no Taki Falls. The hike out is entirely downhill, but quite low on traffic, and once out of town, it has some beautiful Japanese forests to get to walk through. When we arrived at the trailhead, there was a collection of hiking poles that, in hindsight, we probably should have partaken in. I say this because the trail, like many in Japan in the summertime, can be a bit mucky and it's easy to slip out in parts unless you have shoes with lots of tread. That said, this trail is certainly easy enough for beginners and it was well worth the short hike. After about 20 minutes of hiking down into the woods, we arrived at the falls. Now, this may not be the biggest waterfall in Japan, but I will say, for an off-the-beaten-path hike, it's a pretty neat spot to visit. The falls were in full force that day with all of the rain that was coming down, and you could really get a sense of just how much Japan is really shaped by water, especially in a place like Kusatsu here, both from water falling from the sky and rising from the ground. After playing around a little, we headed back up the trail and into town for some lunch. So I have to try out the new pants. Yeah, how are the pants? Pretty good. I mean, hotter than I like, but those long pants are. You're used to wearing short shorts, so. Yep. You know you can unzip some yeah, of it so there's more ventilation. It. Ooh, I could just lose the bottom bottoms at this point, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're just gonna leave them. <laughs> You're like a hobbit. <laughs> They're like giant gators. Yeah, giant baggy gators. Start a new hiking fashion trend. We decided to try a local katsudon place on the edge of town. Katsudon is basically a fried pork cutlet over rice with a scrambled egg and some onions grilled tossed over it. And this one was delicious. Then, with full stomachs, we headed back into town and stopped by the Yubatake one more time. Yubatake literally translates into hot water field, and it's the centerpiece of Kusatsu Onsen Town. It's also the second largest source of hot spring water in the area, with over 4,000 liters of hot water coming out per minute. In a later video in this series, we'll visit the biggest source of hot spring water in Kusatsu, the Bandai Gensen, but Yubatake is certainly the most popular. And it's not hard to see why. Nearly all the roads, hotels, and restaurants in town radiate out from the Yubatake, so if you're passing through Kusatsu, it's almost impossible to miss. Finally, it was back to the hotel where we started drafting up our plans for tomorrow. In the next video in this series, we hop back on our bikes to explore the secluded forest roads north of Kusatsu in search of a hidden natural riverside hot spring bath with an awesome name of Shiriyaki Onsen, or Burnt Butt Hot Spring. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks, and see you next time.